Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're on Gauntlet. Gauntlet just released yesterday. It's a old school server with a custom twist and it's actually an old school server. It's not a 317 with a custom twist. It's a legit old school server and they're actually using rune light, but their rune light is open old school S. So they have so many more rune light features than rune light does himself. Like I could just scroll on for days. Those are all the rune light features they have. And they even have more because like I said, they're using open old S. Open old school S is way more OP than uh, regular rune light, but you know, it's still nice to have. And on Gauntlet, they do have a lot of custom bosses on here. We won't be able to test them out today because we are a brand new account. And I don't think the owner wants me running around with the best armor in game right now, especially because if I die and someone loots it, then it could be such a big problem. But yeah, as you guys can see, we start out with this corrupted set. And yeah, this is the starter armor. It actually looks pretty nice. Before I actually show off the server a little bit, uh, I, I want to show you guys this upgrade table because this is what they got for custom so far like for what you can upgrade these are the weapons you can turn your claws into creation claws and then actually upgrade those you need claws and you need a creation claw piece and it's a 15 percent chance which is really low actually a bloodline chain mace you need a gorge chain mace and a bloodline sword and then for the armor you can turn your face guard into this really cool looking vampiric face guard with a 20 percent chance but you need a blood shard and then look at these boots dude this is insane like these have to be so op fuse boots you need five of each service boot like geez that's gonna take a long time before someone gets those and then you can get an upgraded version of primordial boots you need five primordial boots and then you have a 50 percent chance of actually upgrading it i don't have too much stuff you can upgrade yet but i'm sure they'll keep adding to it here's a home it's actually located at the grand exchange don't want to be one of those videos of me going over the home i'll just show you the good stuff about the home so uh they actually have a trading post which is really well done like as you can see you can search for items like whip or i guess no one has that yet ceridome and god sword let's search for that ceridome and god and as you can see it pops up for 25 mil and we can buy it you can sort it by price or how long it's been on the market for so if you're a mercher the age would be really good so you can just buy stuff out and then resell it and here's your offer slot so i can sell this glory for let, let's sell it for five mil dude someone's surely gonna buy that for five mil right look at that and it actually looks really nice and we can adjust the price we can reset it it's a really really well done trading post for sure anyways each one of these huts has like a shop that you can go to for the most part besides this one it seems but this is actually where you cook stuff and then there's a bank right there so that's really nice you know you just pull out your lobster or whatever you're using and go straight to the range right now there's 55 online which is honestly pretty good they barely did any advertising at all and that's the second day all right there's actually a tournament starting soon so let's join this all right here we go we got a fight dang dude oh we got him let's go all right we're in round two here we go i'm literally doing raids on another server and trying to do this at the same time like i'm very bad at doing this Dang, he got hella chance, bro. Ooh. Oh. All right, here we go. We're in a Darok tournament. It says, hi, YouTube. You will be in the video, brother, but please don't kill me. Oh, my God. I didn't even know he was finished. And on Gauntlet, they do have achievements. I was just checking out the quest tab, but the achievements aren't that good. They should update these for sure. But it's nice to see they actually started on them and they're actually making it a priority. It also would be cool to see daily tasks on the server because, I mean, it is a custom server and they could add some custom twists to it. Anyways, here's their teleport interface. I do wish they had like search option and favorites because sometimes it can be annoying going through each of these tabs. But other than that, it's a pretty nice teleport interface. Let's teleport to Rock Crabs and get our levels up, man. Okay, the XP rates are actually pretty good. We're already 26 strength. And I only just started killing this rock crab. All right, instead of actually killing those, let's uh, get a slayer task really quick from Toriel. Would you like me to sign your first slayer task? Yes, sir. 24 skeletons. Okay, we can definitely do that. Also, this is a pretty good time to mention where you can buy your stuff and whatnot. Just in these huts, guys. Like around the server, they'll have like these huts and you can go around and find a bunch of different shops like melee, ranged, uh, the Iron Man store, but we're not an Iron Man. And then the shop assistant right here, we're gonna go to starter. And we're gonna get some, let's see. I actually like this store because they don't offer anything OP like sharks. So whoever's making those or getting those as drops will be able to sell them in the trading post for pretty good profit. Yeah, no combats in here either. 
All right, we have some bones that we can use on the altar as well. So let's go use those on the altar. Let's see what prayer we'll get. This is the best place to use your bones because you actually save a certain amount of bones. Oh my lord, we're already 34 prayer with using regular bones, and we're saving a lot as well. And there's the protection prayers, boys. 50 prayer, not bad, not bad. We got 52 prayer from all those. Holy moly. All right, that test is done and uh, pretty interesting. We actually got two points from that. So you don't actually get like a lot of points. So I assume everything in the Slayer shop is pretty cheap. Or not cheap, but like a uh, like scaled down, you know? Let's check out the store actually. All right, so this is pretty interesting. There's not like a ton of stuff in the store right now, but you could get a Neve Junior pet for 5,000 points. Surely that thing has to be pretty OP. A rune pouch for 1250, some broad arrows, some broad bolts, and then a Slayer Ring 8. And that will just instantly teleport you to your task. So that's pretty cool to see. But uh, would like to see more stuff in that store though. Let's get another task. 19 cow fight. That's really easy to do. It's a pretty good task as well. Also, let's use these bones on the wilderness altar. All right, from all those bones, 56 prayer. Yo, let's kill this guy. <laughs> Get him, boys. Oh, you little shit. Get him. Get him. <laughs> oh, my God. We're actually going to kill him. Oh, there's a gap. Feels bad, man. I wanted his bones, bro. <laughs> oh, that would have been so funny. <laughs> he probably had, like, a full inventory of dragon bones as well. <laughs> <laughs> also guys, I didn't even realize like let's do clone clone vote and see what we can get from voting All right, we just voted. Let's do claim vote. All right, so we got four voting tickets let's See what we can get from these. All right, here's a voting store from first glance. I see an infernal cape in there 1.4 K bulb tickets. What the hell ain't no one ever gonna buy that quite a lot of good stuff in here though for a voting store Room pouch, target scroll, teleport, bonus XP scroll. How much is that? Eight points. Okay, so if you vote twice, you'll be able to get that. It's not too bad. But yeah, I'm just going to save my points for now. It would be cool to see like a voting mystery box in there for the same amount of points you get from just voting on all the sites one time. But yeah, pretty decent voting store. Other than the Infernal Gate being like... 1.4k volts like what the heck anyways guys i'm gonna end off the video right there i know i didn't do the server justice if you do play like there's so much more stuff i could have showed off but yeah overall the server is really smooth like i said it is based on an old school server i think the base was chronos and overall that source is pretty smooth I do wish they had more early game custom stuff to do that I could have showed off. I know they have a lot of late game custom. I feel like that's what would look really nice in this type of server. Like early game custom content that you can do to progress your account. But honestly, there's a lot of potential in the server. If the owners keep up the good updates and overall change it more to be a custom server with old school rest instead of old school rest with a custom i feel like that's what will do them justice is custom that's old school rest not old school rest that's also with customs like that's where a lot of their players will come from because nowadays we're so used to like regular old school servers but yeah if this server interests you check out gauntlet the link is in the description and uh don't forget to enter on today's giveaway all you have to do is like comment and subscribe anyways guys i'll see you in the next video and i hope you have a great rest of your day